<laughs> we are walking to a DIY superstore. So we need some more paint and sandpaper, etc. We've made a good effort, haven't we, with the internal uh, internal painting in the yep. boat? There's always extra bits you need though, isn't there, once you start? So. Yeah. It's okay. interesting uh, canal architecture here. This is uh, rugby in the background and that's where we're heading to that awful retail park over there but these aqueducts they're lovely aren't they so there's a couple of them across along this canal here so yeah lovely Sure sign there's an otter about. Yesterday when we arrived at this mooring point, um, we were out for a walk and a local resident had said to us, so have you seen the bags of cannabis in the water? Um, and we did find lots of bags, about a dozen black plastic bags in the water. Thought it looked a little bit suspicious, but they were on the other side of the towpath. Um, this morning I've had a walk with the dogs and um, one of these bags, well quite a lot of these bags, have now drifted right over to towpath side. So I couldn't resist pulling one out and having a look at it. 
and um, lo and behold it is full of cannabis leaves and stalks there must be between a dozen and 20 bags Archie I don't think that's good for you um, must be a, between about a dozen and 20 bags all in the canal they've been here obviously well at least since yesterday afternoon so we've done the good thing I have phoned CRT who are aware of the situation they said but that was about half an hour ago I phoned them and they'd already been told about it earlier this morning there's no sign as you can see no sign of any activity it's dead quiet but there's loads of it in the water it's not I wouldn't have thought it's the sort of thing that you want to get wrapped around your prop shaft yeah but <laughs> not for me to say so not the sort of thing that you normally expect to find in the canal either uh, interesting walk Of, so you won't have that horrible wind noise on the microphone. Almost blue skies. Wonderful. How does the poem go? I spring don't know. Is sprung. The grass is rees. I wonder where the birdies is. <laughs> So we were going to do some painting and decorating again today just to finish off what we can when well, we decided we didn't feel like it because the sun's shining and we thought we'd come out and do some cruising. The thing is you can't miss days like this, they're rare aren't they? The first warm days of spring are rare. Yes. And you can't, the decorating's going to be there tomorrow and the next day. No doubt we'll can't. pay for this with floods and snow. Well, that's the time to paint then, isn't it? It's the time to so, paint. We must do it. We're walking over piles of books and stuff where we've taken shelves down to paint. We're moving, the bed gets covered with stuff every day and then moved out again every night. <laughs> so we really do have to do it. We've done well, haven't we, though, this well, week? Yeah, we think we've done well, yeah, everything. We've done well. It's quite nice. We'll do you an update in a bit. So, onwards and upwards. This is Hawkesbury Junction, otherwise known as Sutton Stop. And there's a stop lock there, which was designed to stop uh, water flowing from one company's canal into the other. So tomorrow we've got a really tight turn. I'm gonna stand on the bridge while Fran does it. And uh, so she's gonna come from the lock there, round here, and a tight turn into the underneath the bridge, and around we go up there.
So we're finally getting down to a bit of DIY. I'm uh, just edging these panels with masking tape or frog tape because we're going to paint these panels uh, cream and leave the wood uh, just to brighten things up a little bit. So uh, Fran's gone to take the dogs for a walk uh, and I've been left to my own devices. But the frog tape we've got is too wide so I am uh, cutting it down in half because there's nowhere near here to get any other DIY supplies and also it's been frugal which we love. So by the time uh, today's ended we'll have some undercoat on with a bit of luck and uh, things will look a bit different. I think I'll have to clear the decks first though, it's a bit uh, congested around here. It's, uh, what's the date Fran? It's 26th of February. 26th of February, it's around about midday and the temperature is what 16, 17, 18 degrees? It it's it is like roasting. Steam. Yeah, and this days like this makes you want to be a bit industrious around the boat and give it a bit of a spring clean, etc. Look at the steam coming off of there. Hope you can see that. So uh, <laughs> keep going, Fran. Okay. And we've um, doing a bit of odd jobbing and thinking about what we're going to do when the boat comes out of the water. I've uh, cut a new mat to stand on at the back. That's great that is, it's going to absorb a lot of the old vibration and as you can see poor old Constanza's looking a bit worse for wear all the blacking has been rubbed off by the amount of locks that we've been through and bridges we've knocked into usually me more than Fran It doesn't matter though does it because we have, we have scratched it a lot but we knew we were going to paint it anyway, so yeah. we got that out of our system and from now on we'll be a little bit more careful. <laughs> I don't want to ever be precious about it though. No, know? we're never going to be precious about it. It's a means to an end, isn't it, the boat at the end of the day. <laughs> what did you say? What's our phrase? It's not about the it's boat. It's not about the boat. So why are you slicing that down the middle, Rich? Well, it's too wide and we only need thin strips to put uh, around the edge in. So did you look around in the decorating box in the yeah, engine room yeah. you started doing, did you? I had a thorough look for the thing. <laughs> no. You just I like had to a, make had work a, for yourself. I had a man you? look, didn't I? <laughs> just ask me first. And I don't think yeah. I even put that there. I think you did. I don't remember. It's been months and months since we bought all this stuff with the intention of decorating. Actually it's been about a month since we put the first strip of frog tape oh. up. <laughs> I only did that as a see how it goes up and see if it sticks all right. But look this is serious stuff today we've got the rollers we've got the sandpaper we've got the paint this is it. We're oh, on great, it. Yeah. We're on it today. Oh so. while you're there put the kettle on. Yeah. How's it going Fran? Oh it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean oh? No, I mean it's good, it's alright, it's going to be lovely. Just it's a sunny day outside and oh, uh, no. and it's a sunny day outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, but it's fine. I'm happy. Are you? Yeah. It's going to be so nice when it's done though. Yeah, and there's the sunny day outside. Ho hum. So we're back from rugby. We had a four mile walk round trip. What have we got, Fran? I've got, I can see you now. Yeah, new specs. Hello. <laughs> I can't see where I'm walking, but um, yeah, new specs. But I'm dead chuffed, so it was a four, four mile round trip, as you say. But look at this. So we found a market, and um, that will keep us going for a good few days. £8.50, and not an ounce of plastic in sight. Yeah. So that was worth the walk, I think. £8.50 for all that. That's marvellous, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. And uh, yeah, really pleased. And that is the best. I love purple sprouting broccoli. That's your favourite vegetable. My favourite vegetable of all time, yes. So, yeah. So, um, what's for happy. dinner then? 
tonight we're having a potato oh and I've got potatoes as well I've already put them away potato and cauliflower and and chickpea curry Ooh. and My a big dress style big veggie roast tomorrow tomorrow's veggie roast yeah great so we're, we're happy I, I feel happy when I've got a cupboard full of vegetables because I know we're okay for a few days so one of the other things we went into rugby for today was to pick up a parcel of viewer had sent to us. Yeah, I'm really um, pleased that one of our viewers has offered to um, send us a cable that he didn't need anymore, which is a 12 volt cable for the computer, um, which will really help because when the computer's low, we're still having to put inverter on at the moment. And we went into the um, into the post office to collect it. It was delivered post restaurant which means we can have it delivered to any post office that will accept that. You just nominate the post office. Unfortunately, they're closed at 12. <laughs> so Monday, we've got a four mile round trip again <laughs> to collect our cable. <laughs> but um, it's all good exercise, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, all in all, not, all's not lost. So, uh, crack on, treacle. Okay.